the steamy outside. Inside, the Stanley Cup in the building. Soon to be carried off by the winning team. It's Florida 2. It's Edmonton 1, late second. The Oilers Radio Network. Until June 8th, make the shift to more savings at Fountain Tire and get up to $200 off a set of four select tires, plus a bonus $50 off any service of $150 or more. Restrictions apply. Financing available. Book online today. I can tell by the look on your face you're thinking about it. When you play the largest 50-50 in sports, everybody wins. Your support makes all of oil country a better place. A place of kindness, caring, and compassion. Uplifting those in need, changing lives forever. The largest 50-50 pot in professional sports is currently growing by the second. Get your tickets now at EdmontonOilers.com and help change lives today. Maybe even your own. AGLC license number 645766. Uh, honey, I overloaded the washing machine and there's a mini waterfall pouring through the basement room. We'll fix it. Don't worry, babe. And I might have horribly shrunk your lucky jersey. Oh! Life happens. Access Insurance can help. The save of the game is brought to you by Access Insurance. When Albertans need it most, they know they can count on the Access Insurance team for a huge save. It's easy to switch and save. Check out their Google reviews. Visit accessinsurancegroup.com. Until June 8th, make the shift to more savings at Fountain Tire and get up to $200 off a set of four select tires, plus a bonus $50 off any service of $150 or more. Restrictions apply. Financing available. Book online today. I can tell by the look on your face you're thinking about it. All games. All all seasons. You're listening to the Oilers Radio Network. Minute 24 left, second period. Florida 2, Edmonton 1. Rodriguez, Kachuk, and Bennett out there, but Drysaddle able to win the faceoff, and it's chipped up the right-hand side. McLeod out there, and we've got an icing call whistled against Edmonton. McLeod, Perry, and Drysaddle, and I thought that was one where, well, we've seen a few each way that were of a dubious nature. That one goes against Edmonton. So a faceoff will come back. In the Edmonton zone with a minute 16 to go on the period. Go ahead, goal scored moments ago by Sam Reinhardt. Oilers got to get out of this period, only down by one. You got a minute 16 left. It's a 2-1 game. Got to give yourself a puncher's chance in the third. Only 14 shots for Edmonton. Dries Settle wins another faceoff. Bouchard looking to launch down the middle. He does. Settled by Montour. Advanced through to Matthew Kachuk. He's able to fish after it and get it in deep for Rodriguez. Shoveled across to Nico Mikola. He'll swing it back behind the net for Rodriguez. Final minute to play second period. Florida protecting a 2-1 lead in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. Bouchard won a battle with Rodriguez. Comes out of the zone. Snaps a pass intended for Drysaddle. But when it was deflected to McLeod, Drysaddle could not keep himself onside. And we'll have a neutral zone face. Off. McDavid comes over the boards with Nugent Hopkins and Hyman to finish out the period. 48 seconds left in the frame. It's 2-1 Florida. Verhage with a goal and an assist. And again, he's a guy with Stanley Cup final experience having won a cup in Tampa in the Edmonton bubble. Yep. Face-off win. Barkoff against McDavid. He turned it over, though, and Bouchard is able to send it in deep. Ekblad trying to protect against McDavid. Top overall picks a year apart. Nugent Hopkins couldn't keep it down low. Reinhardt ahead to Verhage. Trying to turn on Bouchard. Can't do it. Can't skate by him. Barkoff protects against Nugent Hopkins. And then a breakout pass delivered to Hyman. And now you've got McDavid challenging Ekblad. Poke checked away. Ekholm at the line for Hyman. Send it across. Bouchard a shot. Save Bobrovsky. Swatted out of midair. Over to Reinhardt. Ten seconds to go. Shifted over the glove of Bouchard. This will be icing against Florida with six seconds to go. And the crowd unhappy with that one. But the Oilers will get another chance in the offensive zone. And why not? You go McDavid, Drysaddle, and Hyman here with six seconds to play on the period. And a faceoff to Bobrovsky's right-hand side. And they're going to go Reinhardt against Drysaddle on the draw. 
to Bobrovsky's right. Reinhardt won the faceoff. McDavid spins back to the point. Stolen by Barkov. He's able to clear. Chopped at by Bouchard. They give each other the business. Ekblad comes over to protect his captain. McDavid has a say in it. And Florida's 20 minutes away from winning its first ever Stanley Cup. The Edmonton Oilers will trail 2-1. to one. With 20 minutes to go, the Panthers, I know I have it. I do my work too, Bob. 68-0-4 over their last 72 games when leading after two periods. I didn't the know. Oilers will have to break that streak if indeed they're going to win the Stanley Cup, at least taking it to overtime. Florida's third period, well, it's been its best over the course of the Stanley Cup playoffs, but not necessarily in the last three games. Edmonton has outscored Florida 5-2 to two in the third period of the last three games. Trends have not necessarily held up. Certainly the first three gave way to the next three. Now the Stanley Cup final is down to 20 minutes, Bob. What do you think will decide it? Well, all year long, the Edmonton Oilers seemingly have been coming from behind. Think about it, right? Start of the season, 2-9-1. They're then comfortable. 5-12-1, right? And then, obviously, during the course of the Vancouver series, down two games to one and three games to two, down two games to one to Dallas in round three, down 2 nothing in game four, came from behind. They're going to need to come from behind. They've been there before, but they got to put more pots to Lynette. 15 shots on goal through two periods, and they haven't. I'll be, I'll be honest, Jack. The Oilers haven't got a bounce yet so far in this game. I mean, Yagmark scored a great goal, but none of the deflections in and around the net. There's been two that could have ricocheted in the Florida net, one on the power play, and then one just before the Florida 2-1 goal. That didn't happen for Edmonton. Florida got a good deflection by Verhage on the one goal. Skill play, but it's a deflection. And then uh, a play, frankly, Stewart's going to be the first to tell you. He's got to make that save off the shot coming down the wall from Reinhardt. Thought Kulak backed in a bit. Orders could have maybe provided a little bit more backside support. Reinhardt was looking to pass initially. I think shot was absolutely his last option there. It was, and he got, I mean, Stewart got beat to the short side on the glove side. That's a tough goal to give up. We know where Stewart needs to work on his game carrying forward. It's on his glove side and handle the puck. We've talked about it. So, Edmonton's they've dug deep all year long. They're going to have to dig deep here in the third against a team that doesn't blow leads. And for the record, I didn't have 68 over before I saw it come across <laughs> in a lower third scroll with ESPN. And it's like, wow, that's a pretty impressive number. Florida has played the way I thought they were going to play. This game has been very much similar to me. The only difference is how quickly Edmonton responded to the 1-1 goal to being in Carolina for after Edmonton had blown the uh, Hurricanes out in, in Game 6 and Edmonton 4 nothing, and they blew them out. They beat them worse than the Oilers beat Florida the other night in Game 6. So, Oilers have some work to do. No question about it. Florida came out banging with tempo and pace. Oilers are going to have to create something. We play. don't know what Bobrovsky has, though. And what we do know is coming into this game, he'd stopped 76% of the last 58 shots he's faced. Now, he's 14 of 15 tonight, but as you point out that's a meager total if you get another seven or eight shots in the third period so Bob, i don't think that that'll be good enough no i think edmonton's got to get 30 shots on goal to have a chance to tie this game jack so 20 minutes to go in the longest season you take this all day think of where we were on november 6th in vancouver and everybody was writing the orders off and even tonight there's people sitting there well you know it's great they got their three wins to make it three three in the series just go get it in the third period they need some guys to dig in, and I like Fogel for me. He drives the puck to the net. McLeod, there's been a couple sequences where he's been a little light in the ass out there in terms of that. He can skate and transport the puck, and I think he'll take another step in his progression, but they're going to need McLeod's speed. They're going to need Holloway's speed to stretch the ice a bit against these guys, and Edmonton's been, a, they, they were a little bit better, in all honesty, they were better in terms of puck support and making plays in their own zone in that period than they were in the first period under the duress of Florida four check, but they got beat off the rush, frankly, in a weak call. Right now, it's the difference of the game. All hands on deck. 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes to live for Edmonton. 20 minutes to survive for Florida, having blown a 3 0 series lead. This is game seven of the Stanley Cup final, live from Sunrise. The Oilers Radio Network.
proudly headquartered in Edmonton, Capital Power is powering change by changing power. Be part of the energy and join Capital Power in cheering on our Edmonton Oilers. From Ice District and across oil country as they chase another championship banner. Visit CapitalPower.com to learn about how they're delivering reliable and affordable power for communities today and creating innovative solutions for a clean electricity future. Stay connected with your community and enjoy the latest updates and exclusive access to concerts and events by becoming a 630 Chad Insider. Don't miss out on a single moment. Sign up now at 630Chad.com and click on Chad Insider Newsletter to become a vital part of Edmonton's premier news and talk community. 630 Chad, Edmonton's news, today's talk. Where Edmonton stays informed and entertained. Today and every day. The intermission brought to you by End of the Row Flooring Centers. Let's get flooring. And now the Panthers the other way, left to right. Over the line, Reinhardt, a shot, score! 2 1 Florida. 4 49 to play in the second period. Reinhardt beating Skinner, glove side. That's his 10th of the playoffs and just his second in the last nine games. Well, and that's the only goal of the second period. It takes you to the highlight zone for Century Casinos. All in, all games, all season. Century Casinos, three great locations. Edmonton, St. Albert, and next to the Edmonton International Airport. Welcome to the winner's zone. Reinhardt from Verhage and Kulikov with 4.49 left in the second period. 2-1 Panthers. Rob Brown, as we are at the intermission for end of the row flooring centers. Let's get flooring. And uh, 10 seconds after Warren Fogel jams the puck into the crease, and it bounces away dramatic mm-hmm. but harmless in the end Reinhardt goes the other way and shoots and scores uh, we see that so often where there's a close call whether it be a great save or a post or or something that you think oh and the whole place goes crazy then the op- opposition responds and goes down the other way and scores and on this one and I know that Bob mentioned it was a, a, a soft goal or a goal that you'd want back But that's Reinhardt. He scored 57 this year. He got the puck on his own blue line. He skated the length of the ice. The Oilers, at first it looked like a three-on-two, and then the Oilers got back pressure. And it was was red wrong. And instead of uh, the defenseman, I believe it was Kulak on that one, attacking Reinhardt, take away his time and space, he moved to the middle of the ice, and that allowed Reinhardt to come in a little bit closer, get a better angle. And again, it's a 57-goal score with time from the far blue line to skate the length of the ice and pick his spot. I like my chances with Reinhardt on my team if he's going to be able to do that. So I think that was more a misread by the Oilers, a defensive pairing, than it was a bad goal on Skinner. And it was just so, so inopportune time because the Oilers had some pressure. They almost scored. Almost goes in off Kulikov's foot and into the wide open net. Instead, the Amatolas are trailing going into the third period. Shots in that period, 10-9 in favor of the Panthers. So for the game, they're out shooting the Oilers 17-15. And it, it, Rob, to me, shades of maybe earlier in the series where even when the Oilers are in the Panthers zone, there's nothing clean to the net. And it's hard to get into that home plate area. Well, the Panthers have made one big mistake in this game, and it was the goal that Yanmark scored. And they gave the Oilers open ice. Since then, the Panthers have done a fantastic job of just closing off everything. And when the Oilers do have extended periods in the offensive zone, the Panthers are just shrinking. they got five guys in the slot, and they're forcing the, the Oilers wide. And everything is contested. The Oilers' best opportunity in that whole period, outside of the full goal we just talked about, the Oilers had a power play. And on the power play early in it, a Bouchard shot broke the stick of Forsling. So it was a five versus three and a half for a good minute. Leon had a couple looks, but the Oilers weren't able to find the back of the net. But that, to me, was the best chance that the Oilers had in the period. But this is... The best the Panthers have played by far since Game 2. Much more aggressive, much more physical. I thought the Oilers have responded uh, well, but they're just not getting the open looks that they've gotten in the last three games. And now they have, uh, they're working for it. It's, as Connor McDavid has said a few times, if it was easy winning the Stanley Cup, it wouldn't be as thrilling as it is. They have a chance to win a Stanley Cup, but they have to win a period first. Yep. Fully capable of doing it. Neither Leon and Connor are on the score sheet yet, 
it's rare that that happens. So I don't know if the Florida Panthers can win this game 2-1. They're going to need to score another goal because I do believe the Edmonton Oilers have at least one in them this period. So they're going to need star players to step up, and they're going to need another sta- save by Stuart Skinner. He cannot allow the Florida Panthers to extend this lead. He's got to give his team a chance. So is the bench already shortened, or what do you look for in the third period? <laughs> well, the fourth line, I don't know what they're at right now, but it, I have not seen them out much. Uh, the one way that uh, Chris Knobloch has utilized his bench, and we saw it late in the period, Leon Dreisaitl was out with McLeod and Perry. That's your fourth line wingers. He took the spot of, uh, of Corey Perry. There, there's no game. There's no game eight in this series. Right. So Connor and Leon, if they will play until they've got nothing left in them, the only problem that you have is if you play your players too much in the third, you're trying to get this thing at least to overtime. But uh, I say Connor and Leon, as long as they are trailing in this game, they're going to play upwards to nine, ten minutes in this third period, as the Oilers are going to throw everything they have at the Florida Panthers here. All right, so 2-1 for the Panthers. The 50-50 is at $18.6 million. Uh, draws at 11 tonight, so it'll probably be $20 million. It's, be over 20 million. Yeah, it's, it's only half, so if it gets 20, you only get 10. Not bad. Verhage and Yanmark. Two minutes and 17 seconds apart in the first period, and then Reinhardt, the only goal of the second. 2-1 Florida after two. Ford Dealers NHL Hockey on the Oilers Radio Network. Experience the exciting casino action at three Century Casino locations. Edmonton, St. Albert, and next to the Edmonton Airport. Dine at one of their amazing restaurants featuring daily specials. Check out the best in live entertainment at any amazing location. Plus, you can always enjoy a great selection of casino gaming options, or try your luck at off track betting and now you can feel the thrill of live horse racing at century mile racetrack century casino has it all come for the action stay for the fun straining to find the right home you're gonna love this for a limited time get back in the game with a free oiler fan cave basement by coventry homes this playoff package includes a free basement plus an exclusive Oiler Fan Cave, complete with their signature customizable designs and top shelf finishes at no additional cost because flexibility is within reach. Coventry Homes, the official builder of the Edmonton Oilers. Blue collar work deserves big dollar perks. Get a heavy wallet with heavy metal equipment and rentals. Heavy metal equipment and rentals is hiring heavy equipment technicians, maintenance supervisors, PM servicemen, maintenance coordinators, and pretty much every other position that makes Alberta go. We help move the earth that makes Alberta grow. So why not work for a company that makes your bank account grow too? Visit heavymetalequipment.ca to find your new career. Heavy metal equipment and rentals. Helping you move the earth. Earth. This is Global News at the Intermission. I'm Rod Kurtz. Stormwater removal was a hot topic of discussion today at a meeting of Council's Utilities Committee. The committee heard that EPCOR has identified 1,200 property owners who are not paying for stormwater removal. Apparently, this fell through the cracks when EPCOR took this over from the city a few years ago. These property owners will soon be getting a bill. A protester arrested at the 2022 border blockade at Coots in southern Alberta appeared surprised when police told him he was being charged with construction conspiracy to commit murder. A video statement from Anthony Olenek was played in court today. He replied, no way, after police told him about the charge. Olenek and co-accused Chris Carbert are charged with conspiring to kill Mounties at the protest that paralyzed that border crossing for two weeks. Canada's population expected to reach around 63 million by 2073, with the number of people aged 85 and older set to triple. Stats Canada says in the new projections, migration will be the key driver, while the populations of Newfoundland Labrador, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick and Quebec expected to decrease until 2048. Stats can expect Saskatchewan, Alberta and BC will increase their share of the nation's population. I'm Rod Kurtz. Your next newscast coming up after the game on 6.30. Chet. Athletes know that to advance your career you've got to be part of a winning team. So what about you? Are you working for a winning team? Well here's your chance to do just that. Brant is a strong and stable industry leader with career opportunities 
across Canada. We have hundreds of positions available right now from parts, sales, positioning technology, heavy-duty mechanics, and more. Be a part of a winning team. Earn your stripes by joining Brandt today. Find out more at BrantJobs.com. Look, I know this is radio, so it's hard to show you how much is on sale during the Big One Clearance event at End of the Row Flooring Centers, but it's a lot. Like this flooring, or this one, and all these. Yep, all at clearance pricing for a limited time. Now, you don't need to just imagine what it would look like, though. You can use our visualizer at endoftheroll.com to upload a picture of your room to see the flooring in your actual home. Try it. Find something you love, then get a great deal on it. At the Big One Clearance event, on now at End of the Roll Flooring Centers. Let's get flooring. Chemco is building industry across Canada, and now they're on the lookout for civil and electrical project managers, estimators, and superintendents to join their dedicated team. Why Chemco? Because Chemco cares. They put people first, offering top-tier compensation packages and an unwavering commitment to safety. At Chemco, safety isn't just a priority. It's everybody's business. Ready to be part of a team that truly values you? Visit chemco.com slash careers today. The intermission brought to you by End of the Row Flooring Centers. Let's get flooring. Okay, let's check the scoreboard for Pizza 73, official pizza of the Edmonton Oilers. Blue Jays had the lead, did not hold it. Boston wins 7 6, and Hershey wins the American Hockey League 5 4 victory over Coachella Valley. That's Washington's farm team over Seattle's farm team. Well, the Oilers have had to recover all season long. they got to do it here in the third period of Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. They trail the Florida Panthers 2-1. Jack Michaels and Bob Stoffer will tell the tale. Four dealers NHL hockey on the Oilers Radio Network. At the intermission has been brought to you by End of the Roll Flooring Centers. Let's get flooring. Portage College graduates are incredibly employable. How does Portage know? 99% of employers surveyed said they would hire a Portage grad. Get career ready at Portage College. Learn more by visiting portagecollege.ca. Get ready to live sky high. Sky Signature Suites offers remarkable units for rent, featuring sophisticated floor plans, designer finishes, resort-like amenities, and breathtaking views. Situated in the heart of Ice District, Sky is the address for socializing, dining, entertainment, and fun. A building like no other in a location like no other. Visit SkySignatureSuites.com and make your home high above the ordinary. Did you know that there are nine Napa Auto Parts stores serving the greater Edmonton area and have been doing so for more than 50 years? Since Napa first opened in Edmonton, the community has grown and vehicles have changed, but you can always trust Napa Auto Parts to provide you with the expert know-how and the best vehicle parts. And if that isn't enough, every time you visit a Napa Auto Parts store when you present your AMA card, you receive an additional 10% discount on all retail parts and accessories. Visit your local Napa Auto Parts store for more offers and expert know-how. Napa Auto Parts is a proud fan of the Edmonton Oilers. Believing in yourself takes confidence. At Portage College, 93% of grads say their education gave them the skills and knowledge they needed for their careers. That's the kind of confidence that leads to great results. Learn more at portagecollege.ca. You're listening to Oilers Hockey on 630 Chad and on the Radio Player Canada app. 257 days, nine months to the day of Edmonton's preseason opener, and it all comes down to the final 20 minutes. Florida 2, Edmonton 1, Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. Shots on goal, 9-9 in the second, 17-15 for the game in favor of Florida. We'll skate 5-on-5 to start the third. Henrique between Yanmark, the man with the only goal of the night for the Oilers, and Connor Brown. Henrique is ready, so are we. Puck is dropped, and we're underway in the third period. Anton Lundell won the faceoff, and it's chipped in by Luos Arena. Philip Broberg, who will turn 23 tomorrow up the left-hand side. Kulikov able to maintain the zone for Florida. Vladimir Tarasenko shot Lundell, redirected, and 
Luol Storinen was trying to tip that one home, but sent it flying wide, and then Ekman Larson could not sneak a shot through. He did break the stick of Connor Brown. Florida maintains for now, angled off to Ekman Larson, and he'll wind it around Tarasenko. Try to wrap around, and Stuart Skinner able to make the save. Darnell Nurse with a clear up the right-hand side. It bounced off Yanmark, coming over to make a play on it as Forsling. It bounced off Evan Bouchard. He tried to sneak it through heavy traffic in the neutral zone. Reinhardt, who scored the go-ahead goal, helps usher the pack back inside the Edmonton blue line. Connor McDavid on the ice. Matias Ekholm with a puck a minute gone by in the third period. Ekholm fires it in. Around the boards at Sam Reinhardt. Under pressure from McDavid. Everything at stake. Third period. Game seven. Here's a shot. Bouchard blocked. And the rebound comes free. McDavid, beautiful move through Reinhardt. Off to Ekholm. Winding up. Wait centering and that's intercepted by Carter Verhage of Florida he'll skate right to left hit center ice make the blue line and send it down low for Matias Ekholm up the left hand side Nugent Hopkins lifts ahead toward Dylan Holloway coming flying in Matthew Kachuk missed his check missed the puck and then got back up located and sent it over to Sam Bennett left wing shot and he missed high glove rebound came off the boards Rodriguez to Kachuk Chuck. After it, Rodriguez put it down low behind the net. Mikola conservatively after it against Dylan Holloway, but pulling it free out of the pile is Leon Dreisaitl. Now Kulak hits CeCe, who set up Yanmark for the equalizer in the first period. Reinhardt gave Florida a lead late in the second, and the Panthers have the lead early in the third. Fogel battling around Dreisaitl. Rodriguez could not get it out. The Panthers fail a second time to get it out. Rodriguez muscled up against Holloway. Opozo wrestled it loose for Mikola, and he'll lift back to center. Kulak down the middle. Dry subtle triple team, relieved of the puck. And Brandon Montour looked to skate it out, but he turned it over and off the steal. A centering pass and a diving Montour broke it up because trying to hunt down that puck was Corey Perry. The Panthers work it through the neutral zone. Darnell Nurse with 17 minutes to play. Behind the net, Lomberg had it, lost it, got it back. Ryan Lomberg. Down low to Kevin Stenland. He was bumped off the puck by Nurse. McLeod over the outstretched glove of Lomberg. The puck wobbles and dies before the goal line. No icing. Here's Ekman Larson. Down the middle. Cuts left on McLeod. Fires a pass up the right-hand side for Luo Storina. He's checked off the puck by Ekholm. Crowd wanted a penalty. None forthcoming. Stepping up. Right-hand side. A steal by McLeod on Ekblad. Up the middle for Zach Hyman. And the Panthers fall back defensively. Luos Green and had it and lost it. And now we've got a penalty. And this one, I believe, will go against Edmonton for a high stick. Bouchard pleading his case, but he'll be sent off here at the 323 mark of the third period. Now, the Oilers, all series long, have built momentum off their Napa Auto Parts penalty kill. Los, the Panthers are a pitiful one for 20. Low Serrating's biting down on his, they're telling him he's got to go off. He's biting down on his lip, trying to get a double minor call here. Edmonton number two, just a minor penalty for high sticking. It's only a two. Well, this is the biggest kill of the year for the Oilers. Clear high stick, no doubter. Yeah, that's a penalty. Face off right side of Skinner. And the only question is, was it going to be a four or two? Nugent Hopkins and Derek Ryan out there with CeCe and Eckholm. Barkov. Lining up against Ryan, won the faceoff. The Chuck to Tarasenko, left circle. Here's Ekman Larson, one timer to save Skinner, poised as could be. Stops Alexander Barkov with three and a half gone by in this third period. And the Panthers holding a 2 1 lead in game seven of the Stanley Cup final. Their third crack in the final. Jack Ekholm had a chance there, and we talked about they got to get to 30 shots on goal. Actually took a shot away from Edmonton. Off the draw, Ekholm drilled it up the left-hand side. Another face-off win for Edmonton, and Florida's power player repeatedly frustrated in this series. And don't forget, Yanmark and Brown have shorthanded goals, and Brown's came in this building. Here's Tarasenko dumping it down low. Barkov setting a screen on Sam Reinhardt. Cody Ceci and Ekholm trying to work the puck free. 
and Ekholm does. Nugent Hopkins slides it ahead, and Adam Henrique will lob it down the ice. Big bounce. Bobrovsky will leave it for Ekman Larson. Florida power play continues to struggle. Brown and Yanmark out there. Danger men shorthanded. Verhage will shoot it in. He's been demoted to the second unit. Lundell to the middle of the ice, and there's a turnover, and here come the Oilers. Two on one shorthanded. Yanmark centering pass, and that just missed Brown and slid into the corner. Verhage up to Evan Rodriguez over the line. Puts the brakes on against Broberg and then got belted from behind. Lundell behind the net. It's Rodriguez, top of the right circle, waiting, dishing back to the point. Sam Bennett, shot, deflected up over top of the crossbar. Verhage put it down low for Lundell. He waits, sends one out to Bennett. Right faceoff got shot, missed the net badly. Rebound, Aaron Ekblad is able to hold on to it. Shovel it down low to Verhage. 25 seconds left on the nap, auto parts penalty kill. Saucer back to Montour. Bennett. Ekblad, yield one wide. That had no chance. Ekblad in the corner. Verhage comes over to try to pry it loose. Lundell did for a moment. Verhage put it to the middle. Quick chance, save. Skinner point blank on Sam Bennett, who didn't get a clean shot on net. It was bouncing, but still, that was a tough chance. And Skinner handled it flawlessly with just four seconds left on the kill. And nearly 15 minutes still remaining in the hockey game. Game seven of the Stanley Cup final, two on Florida. Well, again, the Oilers on a puck battle on the boards, and I realize they're shorthanded, but they were able to sweep the puck to Lynette, and Skinner fought that one off. They get their big boys back on the ice here, Jock. Meanwhile, Derek Ryan and Ryan Nugent Hopkins out there for Florida. Bark off. We'll see Matt McPherson drop the puck again. They put a second back on the clock. Four seconds on the Florida power play. Barkoff wins the draw. Forsling looking for a lane. A shot deflected. Oilers have a body coming out of the box. It's Evan Bouchard. He's on the ice for Edmonton. And that's now 48 of 49 that Edmonton has killed. If the Oilers win the Stanley Cup, their penalty kill first and foremost will be the unit that got them there. McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Hyman on. Five on five. The puck chipped out of play and into the Edmonton bench with 14 and a quarter remaining in the third period. The Oilers have played five minutes and 45 seconds here in the third. Two of those shorthanded, but they're only credited with one shot on net. They gave the they took a shot away for the Oilers in the second. At least that's how I read it, Bob. Yeah. But we said they got to get the 30. Oh, they're right. a long way from that. Yep. A lot of time left. 14-15 to go, third period. Dry Subtle, McDavid, and Hyman. Oilers 8-4 and four all time in game sevens. Rodriguez wins a faceoff and it's sent in deep by Florida. Here's Dry Subtle pulling away from traffic, launching it down the middle, batted down, carried back in by Sam Bennett. Bennett tried to center and that was deflected. Now Matthew Kachuk has the puck. Bennett taken down. Received the pass, then tried to shovel it in front, and it was taken away by Drysuttle. Matias Eckholm hits Drysuttle, right wing, trying to plow his way through Forslund. He was wrestled in the ice. The Chuck is able to nudge it back through the neutral zone, and the Oilers will pick it up. McDavid, Drysuttle, and Hyman stay out. McDavid in the era. Two and one in game sevens. Wins over Vancouver and L.A. Lost Anaheim in the 17 second round. A steal on McDavid. Another steal by CeCe. He'll fire it right back through Wondell. Bobrovsky to play it. And now Fogel comes thundering in on the four check with McLeod. And on the right side is Corey Perry, who calls for the puck and receives it from Brett Kulak. He'll twist it back down low. Bobrovsky ushers it up the right-hand side. Kyle Oposo to Lundell, who scampers to center, but that's all. He turned it over. And now Kulak to Fogel, a shot. Love save, Bobrovsky. And he'll squeeze it with 12.52 to play in the third period. Bobrovsky has 15 saves. Florida enjoys a 2-1 lead. Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. 
final. Less than 13 minutes potentially to play in the season. We'll come back with more live play-by-play third period with everything at stake. It's what we all been waiting for for nine months. Game 7, Stanley Cup Final. The Oilers Radio Network. There's only one line of trucks that's outsold all others for 58 years. Only one with the available Power Boost hybrid engine on select models that delivers performance and efficiency. It's the truck that all others are measured by. You know the one. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Right now, lease the 2024 F-150 STX with black appearance package at 2.49% APR for up to 24 months with 4,800 down. That's just 228 by weekly. Visit your Alberta Ford store or Ford.ca for details. From the biggest stadiums to the coziest holes in the wall. From house parties to porch hangs to pride celebrations. From your favorite fuss shop to your local Indian spot. From noodle bars to sports bars to salsa bars. There's a Molson with your name on it. Canadian Ultra XL. Molson. Everyone in. Must be legal drinking age. Even though your 20s are behind you, you still get to have firsts. Like the first time your knee hurts after a morning run. Or the first time you felt certain muscles after a workout. Whatever your pain, Advil Liquid Gels are here for these firsts. Advil Liquid Gels provide liquid fast relief for everyday aches and pains. So you can get back to your everyday active life where firsts still happen. When pain says you can't, Advil says you can. Proud partner of the Edmonton Oilers. Listen on air, air, online, and and on the Radio Player Canada app. This is the Oilers Radio Network. 2-1, third period. Chris Doblock has seen enough. He's going to McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Hyman here with 12.52 on the clock. 2-1, Florida. Game and season hanging in the balance. Drysaddle wins a faceoff from Reinhardt. Sent across to Drysaddle by Bouchard, crowded by Reinhardt. Breaks through his check, shovels it out to Bouchard, left wing. Shot! Glove save, Bobrovsky. Had a clean look that time. And another faceoff will be held to his right as 13 seconds elapsed. 12.39 still remaining in the third period. Right now, the go-ahead goal scored by Sam Reinhardt with 4.49 to play in the second period for Florida. Panthers have never won a cup. They were beaten in five by Vegas last year. And again, no one in more than 40 years has lost back-to-back Stanley Cup finals. Florida looking to avoid not only that fate, but coughing up a 3-0 lead in the process. Reinhardt off the draw. See Sam, or Zach Hyman rather, come up with a puck. Knocked off balance by Ekblad. Moving over to try to muscle it out, but failing to do so was Verhage. McDavid gave it away and chipped softly out by Reinhardt. McDavid lumbers back into his own zone, moves it over. Matthias Ekholm looking up ice. McDavid tried to make a move to the inside, and he was hip-checked to the ice surface. Sam Bennett comes over off an Edmonton dump-in, jammed it off the boards off of Ekholm and out of play with 12.07 left. And now Edmonton's top line will change, and it just remains whether or not the faceoff will be inside or outside the Florida zone. Zone. There's still some discussion to be had. Right now, it looks like it'll be on the dot in front of the Florida bench. Paul Maurice in his 26th year, Bob, still looking for his first Stanley Cup. He has the most regular season victories at this stage without a Stanley Cup. He would pass Barry Trotz. 1,849 regular season wins without a cup. Lost two finals. One last year, 2002 with Carolina. And they were swept by Detroit. Off the draw. The Panthers force it in. Ken Holland, coach, or excuse me, was the general manager of that Detroit team. It's his 11th game, 76 and 4. Oilers dump it in. Nikola tied up behind the net. Snapped around the boards. Lavos Torinen, I do not believe, got a stick on it. It won't matter anyways. Icing against Florida with 11.38 to go. And back to the whip. Chris Knobloch not hesitating. He gave him a shift off and now goes right back to dry subtle McDavid. Hyman with that Coleman Bouchard defensively. This time, Barkoff isn't out there. Lundell is. We've seen Lundell fill in ably for Barkov. Got to get a shot through from the point. 
Dreisaitl won his last faceoff against Reinhardt, wins this one, pulled back to Ekholm by McDavid, sent across to Bouchard, and now McDavid dropping it off for Leon Dreisaitl. Beautiful move to the net, behind, looking on his backhand. He's dangerous, shovels it off, Bouchard, what time are Ekholm? And that was redirected. Lundell came up with it, but could not fish it out of the zone. Dreisaitl to Ekholm, a blast into the traffic, and Luos and comes up with it. He'll skate to center and shoot it in. After it is Eckholm directing traffic with 11 minutes to play in the third period. Pursued by Bennett. He'll throw it across to Dreisaitl. In over the line. Leon Dreisaitl tried to center. Bennett the steal. The one-time Calgary Flame chips it ahead right-hand side. Over the line. That's offside. Pretty obvious. Matthew Kachuk wasn't close to being onside. And with 10.49 to play, we'll have a face-off right in front of the Edmonton bench. With McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Hyman having been loaded up, you've got McLeod out there with Nugent Hopkins and Fogle as Edmonton's de facto second line. Chris Doblock prioritizing speed at this stage of the game. No question. Not seen a lot of Dylan Holloway, though, as this game's gone on. 10.49 to play in the third. Nugent Hopkins won the face-off cleanly in the neutral zone. Here's Cody Ceci who set up Edmonton's only goal. Panthers defend. Rodriguez put it off the glass and out. Too much on it. That's another icing call. And the Panthers are falling into the trap. We've seen so many teams during the course of the regular season just try to ice their way out of danger. I remember a game in Arizona where the Coyotes tried to nurse one home. You're not going to do that. I know but the Panthers are tied for the strongest and, defense. And but they've, they've been a good face-off team, too, Jack. That's part of the equation. They've, they've won the majority of the draws here. Nugent Hopkins, a 40% face-off man in the circle. But the Oilers have won the last few with dry subtle. Let's see what Nugent Hopkins can do here against Evan Rodriguez. Rodriguez won the face-off. Ekblad dashed over, could not make a play on the puck. Jabbing at it is Fogel. It's still loose in the far corner. Rodriguez tucks it up the right-hand side. Kachuk had a chance to get it out. Could not do it. Neither could Sam Bennett. Over across and through Gustav Forsling. Here's Ryan McLeod. Shoveling down low to Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Crowded in the corner. Getting worked over by Ekblad. Nugent Hopkins trapped. Relieved of the puck. Ekblad backhanded out by Rodriguez. And with 10 minutes to play, Florida's that far away from its first ever Stanley Cup. The Panthers 2, the Oilers 1. This is Game 7 live from Sunrise. Jack Michaels, Bob Stauffer from our Legacy Heating and Cooling Broadcast booth. CC up the right-hand side. There's Holloway on the ice with Derek Ryan and Corey Perry. Kyle Opozo was able to send one drifting back into the Edmonton zone. Darnell Nurse back to gather for the Oilers. He'll reset. Try the left-hand side for Corey Perry. Fired across. It's Broberg. Little spin move. Tap by ekman Larson Back behind the net. Ryan rushes in on the forecheck. Sam Reinhardt trying to extract. Kulikov will do the same. He sent it up the left-hand side to Lomberg. Did not get it out. Kulikov this time put too much on it. That's going to be icing, and this is a real opportunity now for Edmonton. With Florida's fourth line out there, they'll go McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Hyman. And a real mistake by Dmitry Kulikov. Didn't have a lot of pressure on him, but with 9.13 to go, he's now guilty of icing. And this is what I'm talking about, you Bob. Gotta, you got to capitalize here, but you got to get puck possession off a draw and you got to get it to the net and attack the net. They created some chaos when Ekholm got that shot before. Stenland lost the face off to Dreisaitl. Here's Ekholm to Bouchard. Ekholm, Bouchard looking for the equalizer. Ekholm just inside the blue line looking for a lane. Bouchard crosses. Moves it to Dreisaitl. Now Ekholm, he'll fire into a crowd and that was blocked. And here comes Sam Reinhardt up the right hand side. Reinhardt with Bouchard back. He beats him to the net. Can't get a backhander off. He was tied up from behind. Dreisaitl would not let Reinhardt go. Dreisaitl's helmet came off. He's got a change. Here's McDavid with Ekblad back. Forsling helped defend and knocked it off McDavid's stick. And now the Oilers will peel off on a change with eight and a half to go. Gustav Forsling looking left. Fires a pass up to Verhage. He'll toss it in deep. Adam Henrique on the puck for Edmonton. Verhage 
Hagee out of his reach. Kulak flips it back to center. Montour up to the red line. And he'll fire it in for the Florida Panthers who lead this game 2-1. to one. Barkoff in on the forecheck. Kulak under pressure up the left-hand side for Connor Brown. Panthers work it free. Here's Luo Sturanen. He's pinned by Kulak. We go inside. Eight minutes left in regulation. Pulsating hockey here in Game 7. CeCe wired it on net. And Bobrovsky's going to be forced to cover here. And there's not going to be any changing because Bobrovsky covered a puck that was put on net from beyond center. And thus Edmonton can put whoever they want back on. Dreisaitl's got to collect his helmet first and foremost. He does. And once again, Chris Knobloch goes with the electric five of McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Hyman. Bouchard and Ekholm paired defensively. Panthers this time have their standard second line out there. Really a third line, Lundell, Luos Terenin, and Tarasenko. But defensively, they're probably the second best unit. Yeah. Dreisaitl lining up and a clean faceoff win for Lundell. Here's Montour launching it down the middle. Big hop, wide of the net, and that's icing. That's Oilers got a bit of a break there. 7.45 awesome. to go in the third. Montour put a little too much on it, and thus the Panthers will be under pressure again with Edmonton's top five players taking an offensive zone draw. A lot of time still remaining. Shots are 19-18 Florida. They got one shot more, and they got one goal more. And the Oilers have got more of the offensive zone time, but they haven't put enough pucks. And Florida's done a good job boxing them outside, Jack. Dreisaitl lining up against Lundell for the faceoff to Bobrovsky's right. He won it cleanly. Here's Ekholm stepping up, snapping it across to Bouchard. Now McDavid, his moment. Is it forthcoming? Not there. He slipped and fell, and the Panthers were able to wave it back to center. Bouchard up the right-hand side. McDavid hustles it back in, tried to center, deflected off a skate. Dreisaitl snatches it back, fires in front. Bobrovsky's sprawling. It's still loose. Back to Bouchard to drive. Save Bobrovsky. Rebound Dreisaitl. Wild action. Ekholm steps up. Bouchard, what's going to say, Bobrovsky? Bouchard, seven minutes to go. Looking. High slot. Shooting in front. And David denied. Hyman nudging. Bobrovsky down and out. He's able to keep it covered. Buxton. Bobrovsky was down and out. Bucks in the net. They tackled Hyman. Right in front of the goal. He couldn't get to the loose puck. Bobrovsky was completely down and out after stopping Bouchard. A second shot came through. Hyman just couldn't quite. It was a little bit in tight on his hands, Bob. Yeah. And he had to go to his backhand from his forehand. 7.02 remaining in the third period. Frenetic action in front of the Florida net. And somehow Bobrovsky is able to preserve a razor-thin 2-1 lead. We'll be right back to sunrise. This is Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. And this is why you listen. It's all on the line. The Oilers Radio Network. Hockey fans, with a spotless reputation, Scandinavian Building Services is responsible for keeping over 70 million square feet of space clean and safe every day. With over 65 years in the industry, no cleaning challenge is too big or too small. From national retailers and commercial spaces to small offices and entertainment centers like Rogers Place, let Scandinavian take the worry off your cleaning program. Visit at Scandinavian.ca to learn more. Scandinavian Building Services. Our reputation is spotless. From your home to the ice rink, Atco Energy is there. As the official energy provider of Rogers Place, we're also proud partners of the Edmonton Oilers. Atco Energy, powering your place. Customers are free to purchase natural gas services or electricity services from a retailer of their choice. For a list of retailers, visit ucahelps.alberta.ca or call 310-4822.
International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 955, is one of Alberta's largest and most diverse union locals in the province. Members work in everything from construction and maintenance to pipelines, renewables, health care, education, municipalities, and more. They are a big part of Alberta's past and will be a big part of Alberta's future. Apprenticeship, jobs, pension. That's I-U-O-E Local 955. Visit joinustoday.ca to learn more and let's Go Oilers. All games, all season. You're listening to the Oilers Radio Network. Right back to McDavid, Drysaddle, Hyman, at Coleman, Bouchard coming out of the TV timeout. Drysaddle wins another faceoff. Pressure on Bouchard up top from Barkoff. He shakes free of that pressure. Sent it across to Ekholm. Right point. Florida leads 2-1. Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. 6.50. Centering pass McDavid. And somehow that stayed out on the deflection. Carried up by Barkoff. Half fanned on it. Cleared it back far enough. And then McDavid touched that puck and will have a faceoff come back to center ice with 643 to go in the third the Oilers have taken eight wow. shots the Panthers have just two and McDavid's centering pass went off dry subtle stick then body and skipped wide Eugene Hopkins between Fogel and McLeod face off at center the tension is just unreal if only you had a ticket Nugent Hopkins wins the faceoff. Here's Nurse up the left-hand side. McLeod will shoot it in. It's Rodriguez. Played hard up the plexi, but not out. Here's a quick shot and a save made, but we're going to have a hand pass. That would not have counted Nugent Hopkins to Fogel. And the faceoff will come outside the zone with six minutes and 30 seconds to play in the third period. The Edmonton Oilers all season long. As there was a clip during the L.A. playoff series in the words of Connor McDavid, left for dead, 10 points out of a playoff spot at U.S. Thanksgiving. Fought back to within a handful of points of a division title, then beat the division champion Vancouver in the second round, dispatched favored Dallas in the conference final. Panthers off an Oiler dump in. Will angle it out. That exited the zone. The Oilers have to peel back onside. Bennett rifles a pass up to Evan Rodriguez, and the Panthers will crash and bat. Broberg and Nurse defending along the goal line. Matthew Kachuk getting his nose involved. He hasn't done much in Game 7 other than take a penalty. Rodriguez keeping it lodged against the kick plate. That's the yellow strip underneath the dasher. And with Rodriguez prone, they're going to blow it dead. And we've got 5.54 left in the third period. And time for one last break in regulation. The Oilers had plenty of time. But their season very much on the line. This great run lasting till June 24th at stake over the next six minutes. Florida 2, Edmonton 1, Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final continues in just a moment. The Oilers Radio Network. Be a savvy Edmonton hotel shopper. Book through EdmontonsBestHotels.com and receive up to $225 in cash rewards. There are over 50 member hotels to choose from offering their best value rates. EdmontonsBestHotels.com. Rewards with every booking. Hey parents, do you work in downtown Edmonton? Child care is hard to find, but at Kepler Academy, inside Sunlight Place, we still have some space for children 12 months to 6 years old. Located at 101 23 Hull Street, Kepler Academy Sunlight Place is an award-winning early learning and child care provider, voted Edmonton's top choice for 4 years in a row. Visit kepleracademy.ca. Mention this ad and your registration fees will be waived. Discover the epitome of elegance at Alberta Diamond Exchange. Dedicated to crafting unforgettable moments with exquisite jewelry collections for over two decades. From stunning engagement rings to timeless wedding bands and anniversary treasures, the Alberta Diamond Exchange commitment extends far beyond I do. Your journey with Alberta Diamond Exchange is not just about jewelry. It's about an unparalleled experience. Check out the Aspen Glen Landing Boutique in southwest Calgary. And for more information, head to avdiamond.ca today. Be a savvy Edmonton hotel shopper. Book through EdmontonsBestHotels.com and receive up to $225 in cash rewards. There are over 50 member hotels to choose from offering their best value rates. EdmontonsBestHotels.com. Rewards with every booking. You're listening to Oilers Hockey on 630 Chat and on the Radio Player Canada app. 
70 years having elapsed since the last time a Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final required overtime. It was 1954. Detroit beat Montreal. Edmondson will take overtime right now. 5.54 to play. The Panthers 2, the Oilers 1. In Game 7, here's CC to Kulak. CC hooked up with Yanmark for Edmonton's only goal. Sam Reinhart made it 2 on Florida late in the second, and that's where we sit right now as we enter the final stages of the season. Here's Vladimir Tarasenko, wrist shot, save Skinner, and he'll freeze it with 5.34 remaining, and a faceoff coming to his right. That's just Florida's third shot of the final period, but the Panthers are the club that leads by a count of 2-1 to one as McDavid drives Settle and Hyman come back on for Edmonton. Here's where theoretically you like having home ice in game seven you go. because you got the last change and McDavid and Dry Settle are on the same line. Yep. So they can get Barkoff out there. Verhage's had a good game, so is Reinhardt. Verhage, a goal and an assist. Reinhardt, as we talked about, the go ahead goal. Verhage slapped it down the boards. Bouchard. Pushes ahead, missed time, and this could be icing. Ekblad dashes back, and there's the call with 5.25 to go in the third period. Another ozone draw for the Panthers. The nervous energy palpable throughout the building. Fans on both sides barely can stand it. Tension so thick you lose circulation in your extremities. The fingers, the toes start to get chilled for no apparent reason. It's hot and muggy in here as well as outside. McDavid prepares for a safe face-off to Barkov. And Barkov won it cleanly. Forsling hesitated, put it down low. Barkov trying to plow his way through. Ekholm could not do it. Ekholm shook the puck free, fended off Barkov, put it up the left-hand side. Dry Subtle kicks it back to Bouchard. Backing in, but offside is Connor McDavid. And because Bouchard released the puck from inside his own blue line, the faceoff comes all the way back into the Edmonton zone. And this is just fencing for Florida because McDavid and Dry Subtle are nowhere near the net, and the, the seconds are running off well, their potential great, shift. You made a great point about home ice and the the one real advantage and the Oilers have been able to overcome it through two series Panthers haven't lost four in a row all year long they're trying to avoid a disastrous collapse from leading three games to none in the Stanley Cup final Edmonton looking to complete the comeback of comebacks. Their whole season has been a comeback. Off the faceoff. Ekholm finally squeezes away with puck possession. Verhage won't let him exit. The pass is tipped away from Barkov. Then shoveled back down low to Verhage, who has the puck behind the net. Checked by Ekholm. And then Bouchard. Dislodged by Dreisaitl. Here comes Reinhardt. One-timer whistled right to the waiting chest of Stewart Skinner with 4.35 to go in the third period and now I think McDavid wants a breather well you gotta figure he's gonna get three more shifts here at least yeah. Chris Doblock that's the one thing he has we've said that before and somehow at times he's extended it out where they played essentially the last three four minutes so we'll see what happens here it's a defensive zone draw for Edmonton you've got Nugent Hopkins Henrique and Fogel Matched up with Bennett, Rodriguez, and Kachuk. Bennett on the faceoff against Adam Henrique. Wins the draw. Rodriguez with Kachuk close by. Reaching. Puck again lodged against the boards. Kachuk rolls it behind the net. Bennett in on Fogel. Now Broberg breaks loose for Edmonton. Left to right, up through center. He'll shoot it in. And the Oilers pour their way into the offensive zone with four minutes to go. There's a shot. Toed aside by Bobrovsky. Rebound steered up the left-hand side and out. Nurse with a good chance there. He has two goals in the Stanley Cup final. He'll give way to Broberg. Lead pass, Nugent Hopkins. Pressure arrives in the form of Mikola. Nugent Hopkins to Fogel. Slides it out. Nurse loading up. Not shooting. Now letting it fly. Save Bobrovsky. He's down and out. McDavid. Bouchard. Bobrovsky was down and did make it way through. Bouchard centering pass. Somehow it stays alive. McDavid to Nurse. Pulsating action here. McDavid. David, double strip, and calmly cleared up the left-hand side. Maybe too far. Icing with 
wrestled against Florida, 329 to go. And McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Hyman right back on for Edmondson. Oilers had Bobrovsky down and out. Lundell had collided with a Bouchard tried to shot that was blocked by Mikola. A second opportunity was like a triple deflection. And the Oilers never got one fully through. Face-off, right side of Bobrovsky. Dreisaitl out there with McDavid and Hyman, won the draw. Here's Ekholm to Bouchard. Pressure from Tarasenko, and that was tipped and out of play. And now the Panthers will get who they want out with 3.22 to play in the third period. Unbelievable action here. A frenzy as this 257-day season limps to its inevitable conclusion. Stopping and starting multiple draws and multiple chances as Edmonton looks to tie this game. Dreisaitl wins another face-off. He's a bull. Bouchard a shot. Blocked. Rebound lifted. Going to be an attempted clear, but bobbled away. At home. Sets up one-timer sent wide by Hyman. Now Dreisaitl to the point. Bouchard, brilliant zone keep. Taken away by Verhage. Striding down the left-hand side. Bouchard jumps him off the puck. Pass disrupted. Dreisaitl catches up to it. Looks up ice for a teammate. Slid it to McDavid. Back to Dreisaitl. Middle of the ice. He looks for McDavid. He finds him. McDavid checked by Ekblad. Now Dreisaitl along the end boards. 2.45 to go. 2 on Florida. Bouchard tip just wide. It was wide open. McDavid missed the net. Bouchard, brilliant zone keep. Down low for McDavid. Edmonton has to tie this game. McDavid determined. Dreisaitl. Bouchard shot blocked. Rebound. Dreisaitl right corner. What action. Bouchard. Dreisaitl right side in the corner. McDavid spins on right on center and pass. Deflected. Bobrovsky save. Another save. It's still loose. Right arm with a chance to clear. He'll golf it out of the zone. Puck will die. No icing. Two minutes to play in the season. It's Bouchard giving it up. Nugent Hopkins over the line. Here's a chance. Fogel. Skinner still in the pipes. Florida has the puck up the left-hand side. Kachuk smartly comes it in. 2-1 Florida. Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. It's final. Harrowing. 100 seconds. Here come the Oilers. Fogel left to right over the line. The play is offside. 1.35 to go. 2-1 Panthers. And likely a timeout coming for the Edmonton Oilers with their season once again on the line. Connor McDavid almost found a man at the back doors. Double deflection in front. Looked like it went off Ekblad. How close was that? What's your heart rate, partner? Well, you know me. I'm a cool as a cucumber. I'm about 212. I mean, this is just unbelievable. It's an unbelievable playoffs. It's an unbelievable season. Unreal. They're gonna... They'll be talking about this season. Finally, they call a timeout here. Yeah. 135 to go. I mean, Bob, you've seen seasons. I, I, I know that five of them ended in Stanley Cup wins. This has to be right there with the most memorable season uh, in the history of the Edmonton Oilers. There's no question. I and mean, when you're talking Oilers history, you're talking nothing. about something. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the response in 84 after the loss in 83 to the Islanders was special. The, you know, winning in 87 after the way they lost in 86, spectacular. The dominance in 88, and then winning in 90 without Wayne Gretzky. But this... Is, I mean, just to think of where the, this was no fluke. This team was a good team all year that just never quit. And now they're going to have 95 seconds left here to find themselves a goal. And they got to get puck possession. Because the, Skinner's still in the pipes as a result of the neutral zone yeah. faceoff. Ultimate gut check. McDavid, Dreisaitl, Hyman, Eckholm, Bouchard. Skinner's still in the pipes. 
Barkov out there with Luos Serene and Reinhard Ekblad and Forsen. It had to finish this way. Off the draw, loose at center. Slipped in by Bouchard. Bobrovsky directing traffic. Ekblad able to pitch fork it back to center. Ekholm stepped up. Luos Serene with a puck. Up through center. Still in the pipes is Skinner. Here's Reinhardt cutting right circle. Poke checked away by Dreisaitl. And now Skinner will come off with a minute 10 to go. The Oilers get the extra man on. Here's the finish of the season. A turnover. A fan. Barkov had an open net and fanned on it. Here's Bouchard. One minute to play in the season. 2 on 4 to game 7. Tie up on McDavid. Banked off the wall. But too hard. That should be icing. They wave it off. Oilers confused. 50 seconds to go. Net empty. Bouchard right side. McDavid knocks it in. Ekblad hard up the boards. Dreisaitl knocks it down. Here's a chance for Florida. Up the right hand side. The Panthers plowing through. It's still loose. It's still wide. Rodriguez shot. Kachuk had it blocked. And here come the Oilers. Steal Rodriguez turns. Fires wide. 20 seconds to go in this season. Game 7. Stanley Cup final. The Oilers come up ice. One last chance. Bouchard up the right hand side. Through dry settle. Panthers will try to pin it in the corner. Ten seconds to go. Seven seconds. Florida two. Edmonton one. Oilers pulling. Two seconds. One second. The season is over. The Florida Panthers have won the Stanley Cup. Two one in game.